Hey, Elias, this is uh, Glenn West with LSU Country. Uh, nice to finally get to meet you. Um, you know, I guess just for you, what has been the focus, I guess, primarily this offseason in terms of development, um, I guess, on the field and uh, I guess with your body as well? Um, really with my body, obviously just um getting my shoulder right. Um, after missing the spring, just trying to stay healthy. And um, with the defense, really just getting closer to the team. That's kind of what we focus on the most. Really, just getting a lot closer. And um, got real close to Durante Jones, great defensive coordinator. And so that's just really been our main focus right now. Hey, uh, Wilson Alexander from the Advocate. First thing, real quick, do you prefer Eli or Elias? Um, I, I go by Eli, but really whatever you want to call me, really. Yeah, obviously you had a, a, such a big freshman year. What did you kind of learn most about your game and yourself throughout that freshman season? Um, really just uh, how much technique mattered last year and how much of a difference that it made from coming in as a freshman, just raw, and then um, with the technique that I had and really just focusing on the plays and just dialing in and relying on my technique that I practiced hard on. Eli Brennan Miller with The Athletic. Um, you and I mean Derek, somebody probably understands where you're at right now because he also, as a freshman, broke out. Mm. So I guess, was it, are there conversations you two have or advice he's been able to give you about kind of going from a great freshman year into year two? Um, me and him talk about that every day, almost. You know, everything I need advice for, I always come to him and ask him because he's already done it before. So and um, he's done things I have aspirations of, and we push each other a lot, so all the time. Yeah, you like Ron Higgins, Tiger Rag. Uh, how much is it an advantage to play with Derek in the sense that uh, uh, quarterbacks uh, want to go away from front of him, but they also want to get go away from front of you, so they kind of have to pick their point. So you know teams are going to come at you. Is that an advantage for you? Um, yeah, it definitely is. Um, with two corners like us, you know, the quarterback's going to have to throw one way, and um, you know, me and him really work hard to keep our games top tier. So, yeah. Last year, I mean, were you? Uh, I know they're missing games, but it seemed like teams went at you but all year. Was that, was that a surprise? Because all year you kind of proved yourself. You had pick sixes and you proved yourself. And teams kept coming at you. Did you kind of like that? Um, you know, I really wanted um all the kind of balls I could get really last year. So um, you know, last year I wanted kind of the most experience I could get. We had a ten game season. So I really wanted all the opportunities I could get. So I wasn't pretty surprised, you know, being a freshman and obviously having Derek Stingley on the other side of me helps a lot. You know, even with him down, but um, you know, I really kinda expected that a little bit. Hey Elias, um, just one more for me. Um mm -hmm. you, know, you, you mentioned Durante Jones earlier this this interview, I was just wondering, you know, one of the big reasons he was brought in is to kind of help improve that communication back there in the secondary with you guys. And one of the things he told us back in the spring was that he wanted to kind of join the safeties and cornerbacks a little bit more together and get them kind of on the right page. I'm curious as to how that development has gone, you know, the, the communication part of all of this uh, from obviously last year to this year. Um, yeah, we're with each other every day in the um, same meeting room, you know, going over everything and um, um, practice and walkthroughs or reviewing everything, slowing it down, going over corrections, making sure we're all on the same page. So um, the communication is much clearer now. And uh, yes, yeah, a lot better. Uh, hey, Eli, this is Shay Dixon with 24 7. So, um, your stats as a freshman looked pretty similar to the type of stats you were putting up in high school with the pick sixes <sighs> and interceptions. Was there a time where you, it kind of clicked that you were settling in, or did you kind of expect after the offseason that you were ready? Um, I definitely um, expected a big year, but I would say it probably clicked around that South Carolina game. Um, just kind of just overall I felt, you know, just as a player, just felt kind of all the way kind of getting tapped. And I was learning everything weekly, like and every new week I was learning something new. So, but, but I'd probably say by South Carolina game, it started getting kind of easier for me and I started locking in. Hey, Eli Jacques Doucet from WAFB here in Baton Rouge. Uh, you if you and Derek hold things down on the corner and mm -hmm. this defensive line is as nasty and deep as what we're hearing, what is the potential of this LSU defense this year? Uh, the best defense in the country. That's what, I mean, I mean, sky's the limit, and, um, you know, that's where our aspirations are. So, you know, we want to be the best, best defense in the country.
And on a humorous note, he scored two touchdowns last year, mm -hmm. and there might have been a little celebration before both. Did Corey Raymond talk to you a little bit, or what was the discussion on that? Oh, yeah, he for sure talked to me about it after. Um, I, it was just real impulsive. I did not plan it before, but um, I was just really excited, you know. Um, so scoring a touchdown in um, Tiger Stadium, my first one, and then the other one, I was just real excited to get it. So that's where I came from. I mean, you sophomores obviously maybe had the toughest situation of anyone because you went into college during a pandemic. Your entire first year was like that. Mm -hmm. So I guess just how would you describe how challenging the past, you know, 15 months have been for you? Um, it was definitely a big adjustment, but, um, you know, just listening to the coaches and everybody here at LSU on staff, you know, they kind of have helped make it a little bit easier. But um, I would say without the help from them, you know, I would be lost, you know, because it was a pretty hard year on just the whole world in general. So, um, you know, just but being able to just get through and focus on the things that we need to, you know, nothing is impossible. Thank you, Eli. Appreciate you guys, man. Thank you.